When the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic was released in 1984, it was dark, mature, and kind of brutal. However, dark, mature, and brutal media from the 80s and 90s was prime content for family-friendly cartoons and action figures for children of all ages. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was set to join the party. That's where I come in. Every facet of my early childhood was turtle-themed. I even owned the first TMNT video game on my Nintendo Entertainment System, a game that's probably the source of all of my anxiety. Yet after torturing children with an impossible game, Konami decided to bring the beat-em-up arcade version to the masses and ended up sticking with that formula. Now here in the future, we finally come full circle and can relive the glory days of 2D turtle beat-em-ups with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Dive into the role of the ninjutsu-trained heroes Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, Master Splinter, and even full-time news reporter and part-time totally normal turtle enthusiast April O'Neil as they take to the streets and fight every nemesis they've ever had across 16 levels. Start out with an interrupted news feed where Krang's robotic head takes over the program and classically inept villain Bebop lets everyone know they're fucking around with the Statue of Liberty. Since everyone was just hanging out watching this broadcast, you're ready to take off and head to the scene to save the news. Now you're ready to begin your journey of kicking the collective asses of hundreds of foot soldiers, rock people, dinosaur people, and every other weird humanoid with anything resembling an ass within reach of your two-toed foot. You can start your campaign solo or join up in a multiplayer match with six people filling the screen with so much chaos that you'll probably end up in the corner smashing the attack button like the kid that got stuck with the broken Mad Cats controller. Each character has their own strengths and weaknesses determined by these star ratings, but they also have independent levels that you can gain from effectively beating up enemies in this beat em up adventure. These unlock things like additional health points and the rest of the moves you get to watch in this ever-present tutorial you have to skip every time you start. This includes additional charges for your screen-clearing special moves, which you can charge at will by holding up your entire team to taunt no one in each character's unique way. On your quest to shove your weapons deep into pretty much everyone, you'll travel through all the classic levels like city streets, dank-ass sewers, and even flying through the sky on magical hoverboards. Along the way, you'll smash every garbage can and enticing-looking fixture to find random collectibles, including classic callbacks you might remember if you're old, but apparently even older than my old ass because I don't remember half of these. Then each level culminates in a battle against more classic callbacks like your favorites Bebop and Rocksteady, Rat King, Shredder, and, uh, Wingnut. After you hack and slash your way through this fairly short campaign, you can repeat it to level up your characters and see all of the endings, which are just whatever character you play doing whatever thing they normally do. Or you can head into the arcade mode and play through the game once again, but with limited lives to achieve the highest of scores and show up on the leaderboard, perpetually below whoever hacked in a million points. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge, providing accessible, high-quality beat-em-up nostalgia manipulation for aging fans with ever-worsening hand-eye coordination and reaction times. Much like Streets of Rage 4, this game feels like it was designed specifically to appeal to my generation raised on the early beat-em-ups of the NES and Genesis. Despite its limited length and relative simplicity, it hits all the marks with familiar characters, designs, music, and overall gameplay. It's fun to bounce enemies around, rack up hit streaks, and try to meet all of the challenges as well. While you may not spend dozens of hours mastering your turtle skills, for another launch day Game Pass release, this is once again justified keeping that subscription. It also gave me a not at all weird excuse to rewatch cartoons from more than 30 years ago. For those reasons, I give Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge the abbreviated score of good. If you'd like to see more hot takes, warm satire, and tepid commentary about video games, make sure to subscribe and check out my other abbreviated reviews.